Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Smash and Bash and RC. It's Tony here. I've got the uh, JLB Cheetah with me. I'm going to be showing you guys how to change some of the ESC settings on and also collaborate it. Okay, the settings I'm going to be changing are the punch settings, the break settings, and the uh, low voltage cutoff. Low voltage cutoff, I'm going to change it up to 3.4. It's on 3.0 right now, and I'm just going to up it a little bit. The reason why I'm doing that is because I really don't want my batteries to go lower than 3.4 because if I get below 3 I might damage them and I don't want that to happen so I'm going to keep it at 3.4 it's as high as it'll let you go anyway my punch setting that's set to um, 5 right now I'm going to put that up to 7% and my brake force that's set at 50% I'm going to put that up to 75 the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want to crash into anything anymore and um, only drawback with that is um, when you're in the air and you hit the brakes it might bring your front end down a little bit quicker than normal but on the plus side too, you'd be able to like probably get um, front flips out of there a little bit easier. Now, ESC in here too, it's the Hobbywing SC8 RTR. It's that ESCs and JLB Cheetah, and it's in a couple other uh, Chinese brands. I think it's in the uh, DHK line too. I'm not sure what else. So the, these settings should work on those vehicles too and anything else that runs that ESC. And for those of you that don't know, the set button is that little white button right here. The finger out of the way so you can see it. You're just gonna hold that down while you turn it on. So the first thing I'm gonna do on the um, cheetah is I'm gonna remove the wheel so it's not running away on me when I'm calibrating the ESC. Okay guys, let's get these tires removed. So now that we got the tires removed, turn my transmitter on. Now I'm going to hold down the set button, which is this white one right here, and I'm going to turn it on. As soon as it starts flashing red, I'm going to let it off, and that should be in um, calibration mode. There, it's in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it like this. Hold the trigger neutral. Press the set button once, it's gonna flash one green. Pull the trigger full, push the set, it's gonna flash two greens. That's the throttle set. And you put it in full brake, press the set button again, it's gonna be three greens. That means it's set, ready to go. See? So calibrated up now. So next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to program this thing. Hey okay, guys, I got a paper right here, if you guys can see it. It's got the five categories on this. You see that you can change. The first road is running mode. It's got three forward with brake, forward with brake and reverse, and forward and reverse. Second one is drag force. That's just the amount of um, braking it has when you let off the throttle. Next one is low voltage cutoff. That's one I'm going to be changing. Punch mode will be changing that, and um, max brake force will be changing that. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the set button. You're going to turn it off and wait for some green flashes. There's one green flash. If I stopped at that one green flash, I'd be in running mode. And it's flashing two reds, which means it's in the, setting. It's in the second setting for running. Which is reverse, forward, and brake. I don't want to be in that mode, so I'm going to shut it off. Hold down the set button. The mode I want to be in is, um, if you look at the paper, I want to be in 3, 4, and 5. So the first one's gonna be low voltage cutoff, and I'm gonna change that to six. And that's gonna be 3.4 volts per cell. So you're gonna hold the set button down, you're gonna turn it back on, and you're gonna wait for three green flashes. Then it's gonna flash four times red to show me that it's set to number four. I wanna change it to six, so what's gonna happen? So I'm going to set, push the set button, it's going to do one long beep to show it's in five. There's one long beep. To go to six, it's going to be that one long beep plus one short beep. That means it's set to six. That means I have it now set to 3.4 for the cutoff. I'm going to shut it back off. And I'm going to turn it back on and wait for four green flashes.
that's already set to five by the long beep. So I want to change that to seven. That's the punch center I want to put it up to is seven. So that's gonna flash one long beep and two short red ones. There's six. There's seven. So now it's set for seven. I'm gonna shut it off again. So I'm gonna hold it down again and I'm gonna turn it on and wait for five green beats. There's five. Now that's set to two red. I want to change it up to 75%, um, which is three red flashes. So I'm just going to hit the set button once. There, it's set to 75%. So I'm going to shut it off now. And everything's collaborated the way I want it. The ESC's programmed the way I want it. And I'm going to probably take this out for rip now and just test it out for you. Out here, here in the front yard, got the cheat out. A little blast on these new settings. Got a lot more punch to it. See what the brakes are. A little setup I made the other day. A little bash spot in the front yard. Punch here now. Yeah, Only running around three. I still put it on four. It's power. I think I might have just broke something. No, well, maybe not. Oh yeah, it's got a lot more points. And brakes on this car, I'm gonna be surprised. That was nice. Oh,
<laughs> hits the side of the house. Uh -oh. Didn't break. Surprised it didn't break on that house. About minus seven today. Surprise holding up pretty good. It's a lot better now. I didn't even hit the brake there. I don't know why I did that. Battery's done. Hey guys, sitting back here in the basement, got the cheetah behind me. Really happy with how it performed on those settings. Happy with the brake settings, happy with the punch settings. Really surprised nothing broke on it today because the weather out there was kind of chill, like minus seven. I think I sit out there and yeah, surprised those plastics held up on some of those hits because they had some pretty bad hits out there. If you like this video, um, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you want to see more content like this where I'm actually working on the cars and all that because I find I don't do much of those and maybe I'd add that to my channel you know, considering that it's kind of winter out there and a lot of the spots I normally go to are covered in snow. And yeah, if you want to see more ESC settings, I got um, a few hobby wings I could show you. I got the Max 6, I got the um, Red Cat Racing Kaiju ESC there, I got my armors I could show you how to do the settings on those too. So if you're interested in that, just drop a comment in the section and let me know what you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.